Nothing in the world is easier than doing good. Nothing is harder than doing evil. Here, doing good means tranquility and non-contrivance. Doing evil means impetuosity and greediness. Success is a matter of timing, not contention. Order depends on the Tao, not on sagacity. Successful people are economical in their actions and careful about time. Wise people think of justice rather than profit. Immature people crave profit and ignore justice. The self-confident cannot be moved by censure or praise. The contented cannot be seduced by power or profit. Therefore, those who realize the true condition of essence do not strive for what essence can do nothing about. Those who realize the true condition of destiny do not worry over what destiny can do nothing about. Those who realize the way are not susceptible to having their harmony damaged by anything at all. Consideration cannot overpower the course of events. Action cannot overpower virtue. Striving cannot overpower the way. There is that which striving cannot accomplish. There is that which seeking cannot gain. People may reach an impasse, but the way goes through all. Contend with the way, and you will have bad luck. When the principle of the way goes through, human artifice dies out. Reputation and the way are not both illustrious. If people are in love with reputation, then the way is not employed. When the way prevails over personality, then reputation is moot. When outside and inside do not match, yet you want to make connections with things, you cover your mystic light and seek knowledge through your eyes and ears. This is giving up illumination, so the way is dark. This is called losing the way. Heaven is calm and clear. Earth is stable and peaceful. Beings who lose these qualities die, while those who emulate them live. Calm spaciousness is the house of spiritual light. Open selflessness is the abode of the Tao. Therefore, there are those who seek it outwardly and lose it inwardly. And there are those who safeguard it inwardly and gain it outwardly. It is like the root and the branches. Draw it out by the root and all the branches and leaves cannot but follow. People change endlessly in all kinds of ways. You wear out, then are renewed. The enjoyment possible in that is incalculable. For example, you dream you are a bird and fly through the sky. You dream you are a fish and plunge into the depths. While you are dreaming, you don't know it is a dream. After you wake up, you realize you are dreaming. There will be a great awakening, after which you will know this present life was a dream. When we were as yet unborn, how could we know the pleasures of life? As long as we have not died, how can we know that death is not pleasant? The way has a unifying thread. When you attain the one root, it connects to a thousand branches and ten thousand leaves. This enables you to promote order when in a high position, to forget loneliness when in a low position, to enjoy work when you are poor, and to handle danger when you are at an impasse. When there is a very cold winter, frosty and snowy, then you know the strength of the evergreens. When the situation is difficult and dangerous, with gain and loss set out before one, then you know the sage is the one who does not slip from the way. When the mind neither sorrows nor delights, that is supreme attainment of virtue. To succeed without changing is the supreme attainment of calm. To be unburdened by habitual desires is the supreme attainment of emptiness. To have no likes and dislikes is the supreme attainment of equanimity. Not getting mixed up with things is the supreme attainment of purity. Those who can accomplish these five things reach spiritual illumination. 
Those who reach spiritual illumination are those who attain the inward. Therefore, when you master the outward by means of the inward, all affairs are unspoiled. If you can attain this within, then you can develop it outwardly. When you attain it within, your inner organs are peaceful and your thoughts are calm. Your muscles are strong, your eyes and ears are alert and clear. You have accurate perceptions and understanding. You are firm and strong without snapping. In a small domain you are not cramped, and in a large domain you are not careless. Your soul is not excited. Your spirit is not disturbed. Serene and aloof, you are the toughest in the world. Sensitive and responsive, when pressed you can move, infinitely calm and inscrutable. Coolly sense and respond, firmly return to the root, and you sink into the formless. The formless means the one. The one is that which has no match in all the world. It stands out alone, abides solidly in solitude. Above, it penetrates the highest heavens, below us. That knowledge is only sensed in action when there is someone to make it known. What that ability does is only sensed when there is someone to employ it. To have knowledge, yet to be as if you had none, to have ability, yet be as if you had none, is correct in principle. Thereby, your successes may crown the age without that glorifying you, and your accomplishments may benefit future generations without your being known for them. When there is a contest between the way and personality, whatever makes personality prominent inhibits the way. When personality is prominent, the way is dormant, so danger is not far away. Therefore, when society has its big names, the day of decadence has arrived.